it's Santa today I'm going to be doing some more quizzes if you have been here on my channel before you have probably seen that I've done quizzes in the past but today I'm going to be doing some different quizzes you could say they are categorized in like the survival theme if that makes any sense basically these quizzes I'm going to do now is based on survival. Will I be able to survive in different scenarios? So I'm so excited to get this started. And the first one we're going to get started with is try to survive in a horror movie and we'll tell you if you'd actually make it out alive. So if you guys have not seen horror movies, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. But horror movies can be quite stupid. People in the movies are quite stupid. You know, like if they hear a noise outside, they're like, oh, let's go check it out. Like, I would just go hide and call the police. Am I right? Yeah. So basically, today we are going to be finding out whether I would survive or not. Let's get started, guys. You hear a noise in the garden. What do you do? This was like the example I just gave. One, go check it out. Two, ignore it. Three, Peer out to see what it is from indoors. Head out the front and look for help. Uh, well, none of these. I would just call the cops or call my parents or something. I'd be like, hey, I need to get out of here. There's someone in my garden. But uh, that's not the option right now. So we're going to have to go with... Um, I think I'm going to go for the third one. I just like go from inside and like look outside. Like, is there anything going on? And if there are, then I'm gonna call the cops. Something crashes through your bedroom window while you're downstairs. What do you do? Grab a bat and head upstairs. Call the police. Hide. Wait for them to appear and hit them with a bat. Scream to let them know you're in danger. Try to sneak out of the house. I think the first thing I would do is kind of sneak out of the house. And the second thing I would do is call the cops. But that is not an option, so I'm gonna go ahead and call the cops. Grab a bat and head upstairs. Um, I don't think I would ever be able to do that. No, no, I would never be able to do that. I'm too scared to do that. Scream to let people know you're in danger. Well, it depends on where I am. If there's a lot of people in the house, then maybe. But if I'm all alone, I mean, who's gonna hear me anyway? It's only the people who threw something through the window, right? So that's not a very good thing. Your best friend is taken by the antagonist. What do you do? Forget them. You never like them anyway. <laughs> Run after the antagonist, devise a plan to try to get your friends back, call for help. Actually, I have actually been in situations like this before, where me and my friends were out, out, you know, in the evening, me and some friends, and there were men following us, being really, really creepy, following us everywhere. There were like men with suits and everything. It was super creepy. And like in the situation where me and my friends were trying to get away from the men who were running after us i was thinking like if i got caught would my friends help me if my friends got caught would i help them because in a situation like that you kind of get like panic attacks like you don't think about helping someone else in that case in that scenario you just think about saving yourself even though how much how much you might think that you would help your friend i i, I don't think you would and also of course the best thing is to call the call for help before you try to help because otherwise you both might be caught the end of the story that i just told you me and my friends find some cops and the cops got rid of the men running after us and uh, we lived happily ever after no not really <laughs> let's move on no we didn't we didn't answer yet okay we're gonna go for call for help call for help is the first thing you need to do you're at a party and everyone starts to use a Ouija board Ouija. Ouija board. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, guys. Ouija board. What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do? Leave before they start. Join in because you're always wanted to try it. Warn them of the consequences. Set the board on fire. <laughs> try to make light of the situation so no one tries it. Um, you know, I think I would probably join. I would like to join. Yeah, I want to try it. Sure, I'm joining. I'm probably gonna die in this, am I not? There's a zombie to, to <laughs> There's a zombie between you and your way out. What do you do? Eat him. I'm joking. <laughs> Run back towards the way you came from. Hide before it notices you and wait for it to go. Throw something to distract it and run out. Tackle it down. Oh hell yeah! I'm so strong. Yeah. No, I'm joking. I, I could never do that. Pretend to be a zombie to shuffle past it. Grab the nearest thing and throw it at its head. Let it get you. You've had enough. I'm definitely not the last one. I mean, I need to fight for my rights. Am I right? 
Yeah. <laughs> so I don't really know what I would do. I think I would run back towards the way you came from. Maybe there's another door somewhere. Maybe there is another other door or window I could climb out from like different places in the house. I mean, I don't have to use the door, am I right? I, w I just want to get away from that zombie. <laughs> You're at a crossroad during an alien invasion. What do you do? Go down to the country lane that you know leads towards a ranch, but it's in the middle of nowhere. Go down to a forest path that's in the mi midst of huge trees, but you don't know where it leads to. Um, I think what I would want to do is go into the forest. Because then maybe I can try to climb a tree or something, or I can hide behind a tree. There's more places to hide than an uh, open place in the country lane. Like, they're definitely gonna kill me. A girl runs to you, screaming that all her friends are dead. What do you do? Think that sounds hella interesting and go see what happened. Go in the opposite direction to find her help. Leave her behind and go to see if anyone needs help. Arm yourself and head towards the area she told you about. Question her on what's happened to find more information. Well, I am not like a detective, so she didn't have to give me a lot of information because you know that information would just go right in one ear and out the other. Like I'm not good at picking up information really. I mean, I quit school, I'm a school dropout, you can tell. I think that what I would do is go in the opposite direction to find help, try and help her. I think so. I wouldn't just ignore her and be like, gotta record a YouTube video, sorry, don't have time. You're stranded in a pasture with dinosaurs. What do you do? Make shelter for the night, trek on through the night without stopping, find a cave to sleep in, find some moss to sleep on, Find a herd of herbivores and sleep within their group. <laughs> light a fire, hoping it will keep the dinosaurs away. I'm not really sure. Is it good to light a fire or is it not? I think dinosaurs are scared of fire, so I would make like a ring of fire around me and then I'll sleep in the middle and hope it won't kill me. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'm such a loser. I'm gonna go for it. Oh my god, guys, you got you are a survivor. Nice going. Now I hate all blah, 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 that. Oh my god, guys. I'm so proud. I'm a survivor. You can't really know that from just doing this quiz, though, probably, or I don't know. I I'd probably not be a survivor in this these cases in real life. No. I'd probably just lay down, like, behind a rock or something and just, like, be one with the rock until everything's over. The next quiz I'm going to be doing is Can You Survive in the Woods by Far Gary Far for a Foraging in the Wild. I probably pronounced that word wrong, but I don't care. Let's go, guys. This is like a little story. Relax and enjoy. It happened. Now. Oh, I, I just already read it wrong. It happened, and now you're here in the woods trying to fed for yourself. How will you find nourishment? Take this nature survival quiz and find out. Okay, so dandelions. Can you eat them? I know what those are. I had them in my garden in Norway when I lived there. So, can you eat them or can you not? Um, I'm pretty sure you can eat it. My rabbits used to eat them, so can humans eat it? Probably. You can eat it. Correct! Of course you can! Elderberry berries. That does not look like something you can eat. I mean, it looks like something you can eat, but something that you can't eat, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna put no, you can't, because I'm not really sure. Let's go. What? Though you're going to want to boil the berries down if you're able first. Oh, okay. So you can eat them. I didn't know. Oak leaves. Uh, can you eat them or can you not? Uh, I'm gonna say no to that one. Correct. Humans will get sick after eating oak leaves due to their high tannic acid level. All right. Chicory. I've never heard of these before, but I'm pretty sure you... I actually, I have no idea, but just looking at them, they don't look like they're supposed to be eaten. So I'm going to say no, you can't. Oh, you actually can. You can eat the flowers raw, the root boiled, and then the leaves raw or boiled. Chef's choice. Chanterelle mushrooms. You can eat it. Correct. In fact, people forage for all of for these all the time, but not all mushrooms are created equal. So you might as well get aquine blah, 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 with the different types you can and can't eat. Now, actually, I don't really know if this is popular in the US or England or wherever you're from, but these 
People get these in Sweden and Norway all the time. It's like, oh yes, it's the season for cantarella mushrooms. We're gonna go out to the woods and look for them. And yeah, that's what people do. I mean, I'm Swedish slash Norwegian, so I've done it too. Proud. The next thing is grass. Can you eat it or can you not? I know cows eat it, but they have like really, they have a lot of acid and stuff in their stomach. And they've got like four stomachs to digest it. I don't think we can eat it because we're not as complex as cows. We're not as cool as cows. So, no, you can't. Correct. You shouldn't eat grass in the wild for blah, 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 reasons. Among them, the fact that humans can't digest it and will result in unpleasant stomach issues. And yes, I was correct. Wow. Feels like I went to school. Well, I did go to school, but it feels like I didn't quit school. But I did. Acorns. I... Can you eat them? I'm gonna say you can eat them. And correct, you can eat acorns if you need it to blah 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 You know what, I'm gonna just stop reading. Thank you! I keep on screwing up with my words. Dyslexia kicking in, guys. Dyslexia kicking in. Clover! Guys, I used to eat this all the time when I was younger. Please tell me you can eat it, otherwise that's kind of worrying. Oh yes, you can eat it. It tastes really good, actually. It tastes like sour. And sweet. It's it's really nice. I really like it. But guys, don't go outside and try eat it now because like I don't think all the types are edible. So be careful, please. Violets. I actually think these are able to be eaten because I have seen these on like desserts and stuff, on cakes and stuff. So I'm pretty sure they can be eaten. Yes, you can eat it. And yes, I was correct. You bet you can. You'll often find this accompanying name on my dumb fancy pines of bomb dumb to very time restaurants. Great. Oh, I've never seen... Wait, I think I have these in my garden. Kudzu. Uh, I'm gonna guess no, you can't. I got 7 out of 10 right. Oh, you actually can eat that. You can eat these leaves raw, like a salad. And some people already do. Oh, that's really cool. So, you'll survive in the wild by living off the land. This is quite good, guys. I'm proud. I am a survivor. Make sure to do these tests yourself and let me know in the comment section below if you are a survivor, if we would be a good team together, if we would be able to survive together. I'm pretty sure I need like a teammate out there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you want to see more quizzes like this. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the support. Bye.